Baby Cal and welcome to my world. It is the end of the month which only means one thing DIY gaming box time. So if you don't know what that is what happens is I spin this lovely little roulette wheel right here whenever number it lands on correlates with a console on there and then for the next month I have to try and pick up as many games a balance between quality and quantity with a budget of £25 for that one particular console. So last month I spun the wheel and it landed on the Nintendo GameCube. Yeah, um, <laughs> the GameCube is a wonderful system with some tremendous games. I mean, I've got a, a big pile of them here all the way down. Very much a fan of that system. However, I own most of the sort of well-known good games and the ones that I don't own are incredibly expensive. So, just what did I get with my budget of £25? <sighs> Let's have a look, shall we? Of course, in my gaming box. Right. Oh, look at the many games in here. There are tons of them. So many. Okay, so... Uh, where is it? There we go. Okay, so this game I um, actually bought from somebody. They did be a really, really good deal on it. So this game is somewhat rare, somewhat expensive. Usually goes well beyond the normal £25 budget. But they gave it to me for £25, knowing it was for the video. So thank you very much, you know who you are. And that is Big Air Freestyle. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you know. oh, this game cost a pound. It cost a pound! Uh, yeah. <laughs> I basically, uh, by the time I bought something else in there, I had a pound left, so I just had a look for what games were available for a pound or less. Saw this one and just figured I'd pick it up. Big Air Freestyle. The big appeal for it on the box is the fact that it comes with a demo for goril uh, Gorilla Godzilla Destroy All Monsters. Like, yeah, big air freestyle, but a demo of Godzilla. Um, so yeah, it's a uh, you know um, motorcycle style racing game. Cost a pound, didn't have the best reviews, but you know what? I had a lot of fun with this recording game footage for it. I only played one race, but you know what? It, it handles really, really well. The track seemed pretty cool. Um, there's lots of uh, obviously bumps and jumps to go over and you can do different tricks as you go across them. Yeah, I had a blast for a pound. I'm very happy with my purchase of this particular game. Not going to lie. So much so, I didn't even get around to trying out the demo for the Godzilla game. So yeah, I'm happy with that. It's completed box as well. For a pound. Let's just put that there, shall we? So what else did I get? Okay, next up, this game cost £4. Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX 2. Yeah, um, between this and Dave Mira on the original PS1, uh, I had a lot of fun with these because they kind of play like the Tony Hawk games, although they're on BMXs. So the sequels came out, and yeah, I decided for £4, I'll pick this one up for the GameCube. And it's pretty good. Yeah, it looks really nice. I only played the one level, but yeah, it controls pretty good. You have to get a bit more used to it because you're not just um, going around on a skateboard. You obviously have the BMX. You have to make sure, really, really make sure that you're straight when you land. But once you get hang of it, yeah, it can be really fun. It's got a similar style soundtrack, of course, to your Tony Hawkey games. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have a lot of fun playing through this at some point. So... That's £5 spent so far on the whole two games. Not too bad. Next up. So this game cost £8. Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. So this has been on my want list for a little while. While it is from the uh, Sonic team. I didn't let that uh, go against it. I don't like the Sonic games. But yeah, it's kind of a an odd 3D platformer style thing. It's kind of like a 3D platformer mixed with um, Katamari Damacy, where you, you're collecting things and rolling up, except you're rolling an egg. You're in a chicken suit as well, because you have to save chickens. It's a very weird story. But yeah, you're Billy in a chicken suit, 
and you pick up an egg, you roll it about, you kill enemies and things and when you do they leave behind fruit. Roll over the fruit with the egg and the egg gets bigger. Once it gets to a certain size you can then hatch it and you get a cool little pokemon style monster with you to aid you in battle. And it's really fun. I didn't play it for too long, just sort of the first level to get the hang of it. Really, really enjoyed it. Unfortunately, it didn't come with the manual, but I suppose I can always pick that up at another point. And I didn't want to send it back and try and get it elsewhere with the manual for the same price. It would have been very difficult and I would have run out of time for the video. So I just stuck with this version. But yeah, apart from that, it's in good condition, plays well, and I'm very happy with that purchase. So that leaves me with one more game. Yes, I actually managed to get four. This one was the most expensive of the lot at £12, bringing the total up to the full £25, and that is Beautiful Joe. Finally got hold of this one. I've known about it for years, always wanted to give it a try. Um, I think it's based on an anime or something. Uh, not really my thing, unfortunately, but it's a 2D beat-em-up game. But with a little bit of a difference, you don't just go around smacking them. You also have to uh, duck and dodge attacks. And if you do, you build up a meter and things like that. You get more points um, and things. And it's just a really, really fun game. Yeah, it is a 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up. Really, really cool visual style. Just runs and plays really, really well. Um, so let's uh, just put that box down there. Yeah, obviously this also came complete in box, I was very happy with it for that prize, complete in box. Uh, yeah, so that's added to my collection as well. Which, yeah, so there we go, four games for the Nintendo GameCube. All of them are good, even the £1 one that got bad reviews, I enjoyed. So I think I've done really, really well here with the GameCube with a budget of £25, getting games that I don't already own. Two were on my want list, and the third one, Matt Hoffman Pro BMX 2, Probably would have been on my want list if I uh, really have to go through again to sort of see what I would want for each system. So the only thing to do now, spin the wheel and see what we get for next month. I'll just put this over here. There we go. Right, let's get the old camera out. Switch that around. Do -do 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 -do. Let's go over to the Wheel of Doom. And let's give it a nice big spin. So, what are we going to land on today? Oh, what's that? Number eight. Yep, and number eight is... The Nintendo Entertainment System. The NES. Hmm. Okay, the NES. £25. Yeah, I think I can get some pretty good games for that. Um, I have a massive want list, so I'm not going to be short for that. I've got like 80 games on the want list for the NES. Yeah, next month is going to be a pretty good month, I think. I can get a lot of good games for the NES within a budget of £25. The question is, how many am I going to get? Am I going to pay a little extra and get something really special? Or pay a little bit less and get multiple items? All good stuff, hopefully. Well, I'm Big Cal. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the GameCube games I got. Let me know if there's any particular suggestions for the NES games for next month. And I'll see you again next time.